in Port Coquitlam with my older brother, older sister, and my mom. My mom was a big music fan, so I've been submerged in music since I was, like, born. My mom is the music fanatic in our family. She pushed me towards learning music, picked up bass guitar when I was 10, and then from there, my life kind of just took off. We weren't the most financially stable family, so when I was 17, I started working at a drywall dump. Uh, September 4th, 2015, I was doing some maintenance on one of the conveyor belts. It was a bit faulty, and it turned on while I was inside of it. I was completely by myself. I had nobody else around to help me. I didn't really have a fighting chance. I ran outside. I ran past my coworker, and he drained in color like a cartoon character, completely white. And he said, I'm sorry, buddy, but your arm is gone. I was 17 at the time. I'm a musician who needs all of their limbs to play the instrument that they play. And everything I'd worked towards was with the goal of having a career and life in music. And at that point, I believed it was it. I was done. It was over. I'm never going to be able to do this again. Elephant in the room, I'm missing a limb. And this was an accident, unfortunately. And when that happened, I thought that my career in music was completely over. And then I decided, no, it's not over. I'm going to keep playing. And the first song I thought of was All the Small Things. And eight days after my accident, I was on a drum kit playing that exact song. Wow. And wow. so I figured it's a full circle moment for me. Oh, man. Well, Jack, I wish you the best of luck. I'm really rooting for you. The stage is yours. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoy. Had it. You just owned that stage, you owned the music, you had the crowd. Everybody in life, regardless of what they do, have hurdles to go through. You not only showed up, but you excelled. The only thing that I feel bad, and because I'm a parent, that your mom is not in the room to see you. She really, really wishes she could be here, but hey. Call her. Call her. Call her. Let's call her. Can I? Come down here so we can talk to her and see her too. Hello. Hi. You're talking to a lot of people right now. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. This is uh, this is Howie Mandel now. I just watched your son. How did he like it? I loved it. He's Yo, pretty awesome. I gotta say that he just rocked the room, he rocked the show, and the only negative I have is you weren't here to see it. Since you weren't here to see the performance and see how 5,000 people were on their feet, how about you stick around for the vote? I'm gonna give you your first yes. One yes. That was Trish Stratus. Uh, I'm Lily saying hi, Mom, and I'm going to give you your second yes. It is Cardinal Official, and I am giving the third yes. But you know what? He's got four yeses, and he's going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mom. Tell Mom to say we'll be back with more Canada's Got Talent after this. We'll be right back with more Canada's Got Talent right after this. Yay! <laughs>